I'm talking all about the things that I've been making recently and some upcoming plans like so man pants. Let's jump into it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethMavis.com helping you sew something creative. If that is up your alley, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So I have not done any makes videos or plans videos of late because my family has been super busy. We went on a very, very long trip and we're just getting back into our routine with soccer and school and all of that. And then my husband and I went on a vacation belated anniversary trip to Canada so that was really really lovely and now I'm just like like starting to settle down and getting back into my routine and whatnot so I've had a lot of things that I've made and that I wanted to talk about so the first thing that I've been messing around with is shibori dyeing so I'm fixing on editing a video about how it is that shibori happens and why you might want to do it but the first thing that that i that the thing that I made, the project that I made, I can't talk. The project that I made with my shibori dyed fabric is this Sew Over It Penny Dress. And this is something that I wore on my trip. I got some really cool pictures in the Bay of Fundy. If you want to check out my blog post on my website, elizabethmaythis.com, I will throw that in the description so you can check it out. But you can see I've got some really fun contrast as a bias facing on the inside of the sleeves. And I also did something different with the inside of the sleeves. So one thing that I didn't like about this particular pattern is that it had you leave the shoulder, the shoulder yoke, the insides of that just kind of open. So they have you finish them off, you know, like with a serger or something like that, but they're just kind of hanging out there. So it's not really the nicest finish, I think. So I went ahead and I did the burrito method. So something that you would see on like a shirt, on like on a men's shirt. You, If you open up the inside of a men's shirt, you will always notice that there's a second piece of fabric that's covering over all of those seam allowances on that back shirt yoke. <laughs> I added the other things that I did to this is that I, I, I swapped out, I swapped out the big half circle skirt that's in the pattern for more of a straight skirt. I had self-drafted a I self-drafted a pencil skirt a while back and I just just made it just ever so slightly a line and popped that onto onto the bottom of the bodice instead of the full circle skirt. I don't really like circle skirts. I think it's too much volume on my lower half and I don't really like wearing them. So, I don't but you know what? Here's the thing. If you like circle skirts, if you've never tried a circle skirt, I think you should try it because it's really good to try something so you can have an opinion about it. I've tried it. I have an opinion about it. I don't like it, so I don't do it. Um, so I, so that's what I did. And I also added a drawstring to the, to the waist. So there's not, there's a little tiny bit of elastic just at the back. And then, and then there's drawstrings attached to either side of that little tiny bit of elastic. And then that's through the casing and then I added little button buttonholes so that the drawstring can come through. I think it's a, it's a much more comfortable feel to me than just the straight elastic. And I think it looks nicer too because it's just kind of, I think it just looks nicer. And I also added pearl snaps to this one. So that's really fun. And let me talk about my other penny dress. So I made a second version of the penny dress in this lovely Lady McElroy lawn, cotton lawn. It is absolutely luxurious. That's all I can say about it. It is just the nicest fabric. It was the nicest fabric to sew with. It feels so, so lovely. And it's actually, it's actually a lot beefier not beefier. It's not. It's not sheer at all. Sometimes cotton lawns can be a little bit sheer, but this one is. This one is nice and nice and opaque, so I can wear it without a slip, and I don't have to worry about it. And it's just. It, it's just. It's almost like silk. It's just really, really, really finely woven and lovely to wear. I got. I found this at Fancy Tiger in Denver. Um, I was really glad to have found it. I was I was shopping actually with Laquana from Made by Laquana. We met we met up at Fancy Tiger and had dinner afterwards. And the two of us hung out. And I found this and was like, oh, 
beautiful because I've been stocking this fabric online for a really long time. I saw Lauren Guthrie make make it up into a project and Lauren, Lauren and I have similar-ish coloring and I noticed that it was a really warm peach color with you know with like that pinky peach and I love this color I think it looks it's one of my favorite colors to wear and I think it suits me <laughs> I, and I just I love it it's just if I was really glad so but I, I I haven't been able to find it here in the U.S. because and I wasn't gonna pay for it I was I'm like trying to think about how I could buy it from the UK but the shipping was crazy and the price was already expensive so this was going to be an expensive project. To be true it was not cheap at Fancy Tiger but I didn't have to pay the shipping so it ended up being not that bad not that bad and because I also used the that same thinner thinner skirt and not the half circle skirt it didn't take up as much fabric so it was it ended up being I think I ended up using a yard and a third versus I, I think on the penny on, on the penny instructions it says something like three yards or something like that so so it ended up being a lot more economical than it would have been otherwise so not only do I like the, the slimmer skirt I like that I can use a nicer fabric and wear it and have it not be like so crazy expensive too so I love this one love it love it love it love it oh and I added green pearl snaps too Ooh, they're like a they're like a pale kiwi who doesn't want more pale kiwi in their life? So that's that one. Okay, and then the other part of my sew over it show is my sew over it Lulu dress. So all of these sew over it things I have I've had on my Make Nine. I've not tried sew over it before, so this was kind of a learning experience slash adventure for me. I fall outside of the pattern range on in my shoulders for sew over it, and some of their details I like I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily put on stuff so it's been kind of interesting to make it make it work for for my own body I have another video that I'm editing for the Lulu about how to style it because this is what this is the problem that I ran into with Lulu so you can see it doesn't really have a lot of shape in the waist it's just kind of and that's it so that's not how I want to like go around the world so I added a little a little bit of a, a sash with a sashiko belt that I made so I, I had some leftover linen and I made just a really quick fabric belt and I added some sashiko stitching to it in this these little kind of x not x like chevron patterns that are intersecting all the and I I just I did that um actually while we were traveling so that was a nice that was a nice little car project to, to add but I really like it with the with the sash I think it's a nice way to do it but I have some other ideas for how to style you know a dress that doesn't have a lot of shape in the waist how you can give it a waist so I'm working on that so look out for that video too okay the other thing that I've made recently is just a plain old t-shirt, just a plain old t-shirt. So this is a birch organics cotton knit. It is lovely to wear. It's nice, nice orangey color, orangey peach. Um, what should we call this? Uh, cantaloupe pumpkin? Something like the pumpkin smoothie. Yeah, hey, it's time for that. It's time for that in the year. And this is a Jolly 2805. Is that a 2805? I think it's 2805. It's their basic t-shirt pattern. And it's got a nice a nice v-neck. Uh, I love Jolly patterns. They always fit for me. They are have great directions. If you've never tried Jolly patterns, buy one. Buy one. You will not be disappointed. You will use them literally every single time you go into your sewing room. Almost. <laughs> just about. Just about. Just about. The only thing that I did to this one is that I made a little kind of faux tulip sleeve situation to it. So I, I just kind of cut away the bottom part of the sleeve and I added a little sleeve binding on the inside and then to make it so that it comes to a point I just added a little tiny dart right at the center of that so that it comes together like that but it's just a nice it, it's just a different way to you know mess or mess around with a plain old sleeve but otherwise than that it's just a plain t-shirt but I love it it's a great layering piece I will be wearing this a lot the last thing that I made recently is a bit of a sore spot. I'm not gonna lie. I might rant here, so forgive me if I rant. This is the named Talviki sweater, and um, 
I'm just gonna say it. I totally hate this. <laughs> this is so not my style. So not my style. It's a big box and you're gonna see in the video that I pop in here that it is just it's so huge. It's so huge. I sewed up my I sewed up my size. There's a 32 in my shoulders, 34 in in the body. Sometimes if if a, if a pattern is requires a little bit more room in the hips, I'll I'll, I'll grade it out to a 36. Um, that's that's my standard Berta size and a toe ray. And I and sure enough, named has those sizes too, which I was super excited about. That was really great. So this is that size. And it's gigantic. It's gigantic. So the one thing that I did do to the sleeve, because it's so gigantic, it's got drop shoulders, but I didn't have enough fabric. This is a cotton, a cotton sweater knit, and it's got this kind of stripe on it. And the stripe, the, the cream colored stripe has like almost a French terry kind of texture. So it's really cool knit, something I found at Etsy. So because it was, I just didn't have enough of it. So I added, I added in this cream uh, fleece. I used this fleece for the coat that I made with the, with all the, like, the yarn looping on it um, a while back last year. So I added that to the front uh, soft side of the sleeves just for contrast and because I didn't have enough fabric. So that part is cool. I like that. I do love these radiating darts. I think they're really, really neat, but that's where it ends, folks. That's totally where it ends. So <laughs> let me pop the video and you can see the craziness of this. Okay, so the biggest thing that I had problem with this is that it it's just it has way too much ease. So if I take out if I take my arm, my arm is here and the sleeve is here. So like that's that's a lot of space. And also like my armpit is here and the sleeve is out there. So I, I mean who wants to look like that? It's ridiculous. And then going down to my waist, there's there's literally 16 inches of ease at my waist and probably a similar amount in my bust. Um, my full bust is 30 and a half inches and I haven't measured this, but it, it's just, it's just crazy. I could be eight months pregnant and you'd never know. I'm totally not eight months pregnant. I'll throw that out there, but you'd never know because there is so much ease in this fabric. So I think you know, I don't know. I sometimes you have you have things that you make and you like you know like that they're not going to work out, but you make them anyway, somehow thinking that it's going to work out and it totally doesn't. It totally doesn't. So this is not a, this is not a make it because you you're so you can have an opinion about it. I sometimes you just you just go against your better judgment and you end up with stuff that you just don't really love. So I'm trying to think of how I can make this garment work in my wardrobe. I'm thinking the only place that it has is to, uh, you know, when I'm feeling really bad and I just don't really want to like, I just want to bum around the house and like eat popcorn and binge watch Poldark or something like that. But if you have an idea of how it is that I can make this gigantic thing work, please hit me up in the comments. I would love to see what it is that you have in mind <laughs> because as far as I'm concerned, this is a total garment fail, um, which is which is sad because it's really nice fabric. I, I think I will wear it only because it has really nice fabric and um, it does feel nice like on my body, but oh yeah, totally this neck, you might mess up your hair when you're wearing this too. Okay, so yeah, let me know. What's your ideas for this one, okay? Okay, now for something totally different. You see my stuff. My stuff has a very different, has a very similar feel to it. And now I pull out fabric like this. What on earth are you talking about, Elizabeth, right? Okay, so here's the deal. My friend Viv of Stitches and Scenes did this thing last year called Sew Man Pants. And the idea is that you just sew something for men in your life. Your husband, your significant other, your man children, your boys, your sons, right? So, and uh, there's prizes involved. There's wonderful sponsors who are, are hitting us up for that. So I will link Viv's video about that and you get all the details there. And I'm gonna be talking about it on my Instagram stories this whole next month. But, um, so I have this fabric and I'm gonna make some shirts for my boys. This is my project for Fabric Mart this month. 
So I've got shirts for them. This is this is some Hawaiian fabric that uh, the, some Hawaiian shirting that Fabric Mart had recently, and so I'm gonna write about that and just make it up. I've already made up one shirt from it for my youngest son, and I've got uh, this really nice leaves print too. Again, totally not for me, but it's for my boys, so you know. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and and. I would say too that that um, Karina of Lifting Pins and Needles and Natita of Natural Day are also jumping in on this project and we have a couple of ambassadors. And yeah, again, just check out those videos so you can see all of that that's going on. But yeah, that's, if you, yeah, just, just jump on and sew something for the men in your life and, I, and you have a while to do this, a while to do this. I will look that up and I will put that in the, the, all, of the, all of that info in there. But yeah, so man pants. It's pretty exciting. So we've been really excited to talk about it and I'm looking forward to seeing what people make for their men folk. And I'm looking forward to making stuff for my men folk because they always appreciate when I make them stuff. So that's what's going on here. And I hope that you guys are having a lovely start of your fall. Hopefully the leaves are starting to turn and it's actually a little bit cooler. If you're in the Southern hemisphere, I guess it's, it's getting warmer-ish there. So enjoy that too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you sew something creative today and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed what it is that I've been up to. There's lots of other stuff that is going on on Elizabeth Mavis, so check that out and I will see you in the next video. See ya.